I don't remember in the history of independent India any election being as crucial as this one because this will determine not only what is going to happen in India for the next five years but I would imagine longer too. So one has to be extremely particular about who you vote for, what is your sense of what these people are likely to do for the country and for you and it is important that you need to number one get out of your house and make sure that you vote every single eligible indian must vote in this election this is the most critical time in the history of india i want a safe india i want an independent india where every individual is able to exercise his freedom of thought her freedom of expression her freedom of practice as long as it doesn't hurt anyone we cannot dictate to people what they should wear, what they should eat, how they should behave, what they should say. Enough of this. We want a country where we should feel free and safe, where 52% of the people who are polled in a survey do not say that they are scared of posting their views online because they would be they would invite hate and they would invite threats of violence. I want an India where there is justice, which is assured for everyone who is aggrieved, where there is an independent judiciary, there are independent democratic institutions, there is a free press which is free to question everyone in authority, no matter which the government is, without any fear, without any, any expectation of favor. I think it is time that all of us stand up and try and recover what we believe our sense of India is the kind of country that we want to live in. And that can only happen if you exercise your power to vote wisely. Choose well. Choose extremely carefully who you vote for. This is important for the future of this country. India is a country that is meant for every citizen of this land. From the farmer in the field, to the student in the classroom, from the worker in the factory, to the domestic laborers who work in our homes, to the industrialists, to the professionals, to the artists, to professors, teachers, businessmen, everyone. And it is important that everyone has economic security, everyone has a job. It is important that each citizen like us takes upon himself or herself the responsibility of ensuring that there is equality, equal opportunity and economic security for every citizen of the country. One person is actually suffering from starvation. It is a blot on our conscience. Kis kisum ka desh hum chahte hai? Humara mulk kaisa ho? Kis siddhanto par ye hum apni zindagi ji hai? Aur iski liye samvidhan ki taraf dekhna bahut zaruri hai. Kaha jata hai Bharat aaj desh, I mean, dunia ka sabse young desh hai. हिंदुस्तान की महानता अगर कोई है तो वो इस बात में है कि हमारी विविधता जो है हमारी विभिन्नता जो है जो डाइवर्सिटी जो हम बोलते हैं प्लोरलिज्म जो हम लोग बोलते हैं कि हर किस्म के धर्म यहाँ है हर किस्म के कल्चर्स यहाँ है हिंदुस्तान वैसे देखा जाए तो एक देश नहीं एक पूरा प्लानट है इतना खूबसूरत है वो इस देश में सिक्योरिटी के साथ और एक आर्थिक कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ जीने का सबको हक है मैं जहां वोट देने जा रहा हूं क्या वह ऐसी सरकार बनेगी जो ये सब दे सकती है क्या हमको इज्जत से जीने का अधिकार वो दे सकती है वो सहूलियत दे सकती है हर एक को चाहे वो गटर में जो काम करते हैं वो लोग हो चाहे वो सीवेज में काम करते हैं वो लोग हो चाहे वो सैनिक हो जो सरहद पर खड़ा हुआ है हर एक को चाहे वो मर्द हो औरत हो मुसलमान हो हिंदू हो क्रिश्चन हो जो भी हो वो दलित हो सबको इज्जत से जीने का एक हक है और वो इज्जत तब आती है जब आपकी एक आर्थिक स्थिति जो हो डिग्निफाइड हो और ये डिग्निटी चाहिए हमको रविन्द्रनाथ टैगोर ने जो लिखा था वक्त आ गया है कि हर नागरिक को वो याद करना होगा उस कविता को वे द माइंड इज विदाउट फेयर एंड द हेड इज हेल्ड हाई वे नॉलेज इज फ्री वे द वर्ल्ड हैज नॉट बीन ब्रोकन अप इन टू फ्रेगमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ नैरो डोमेस्टिक वॉल्स into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake that is the heaven that we are looking for and we deserve that